is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. The 2005 UNI football team took Panther fans on a wild ride that ended with a national runner-up finish. This past fall, the members from this team were back on campus to be inducted into the prestigious UNI Athletics Hall of Fame. Let's go down memory lane now and take a look back at one of the best football teams to ever wear the purple and gold for the UNI Panthers. We were excited. We had a good quarterback coming back. That's when David Horn transferred in from Nebraska. So we had a big name with him, already having Freeney. Um, we had three starting linebackers returning with Kipke and Heidemann. Not only that, but then the high expectations of the top 12, I think we were at the time. So we were excited. Um, we worked hard all off season, obviously. And then coming into the year, I mean, we started out pretty well with a big win and played Iowa pretty competitive in game two. There was NFL caliber guys in it, but really what I remember from the team, you gotta remember that team was four and three. We were four and three coming off a 38 to three loss at Illinois State. We were finding our way as much as anybody was. But we wanted something to stick and we knew that it was win every week. It was, you know, it was playoff football mid middle of the season because if we lost another game, we were gonna be on the outside looking in. It kind of relaxed our team a little bit, I felt like. It was um, kind of had a we had nothing left to lose, so like let's just go out and play, and and we got hot. I mean, we got hot, and uh, just kept going into the playoffs. And honestly, we did not. I felt we didn't, and maybe it's just because I was too young to even realize what we were doing. I didn't think our team felt a lot of pressure at all from after the bad loss in Illinois State. I think we played extremely relaxed, loose, and had a lot of fun and. We just kept winning games and winning games and winning games. You know, when, when people are sore and tired and feeling like it's mid-season, everybody's hurt, whether it's a big injury or a small injury, you get a little bit of life and you see some energy. And, and uh, just remember, Coach Solomon really put that in us to, to keep having fun because, you know, whether, whatever season it is, you only get one of them. So make the most of it. I, I think when you have, and like you said, seven in a row, you start getting in a run and you beat some teams that you know, it was a coin flip on whether you were going to beat him or not. Uh, that just snowballs your confidence. And, and I think by the end of that playoff run, we were easily the most confident team in America. We had to beat Western Kentucky on the road in overtime. We had to beat Texas State on the road in overtime. We had to go to New Hampshire, the number one team in the country, when they were coached by Chip Kelly as the offensive coordinator, as the number one offense in the country. And we ended up going out and beating them uh, 24 to 21. But again, that team had to go on the road to win. It wasn't just winning in the dome. We had to go beat some great teams on the road. It all came together and, and nobody cared how we won. Uh, what the score was, who got the credit, nobody cared. We didn't care if we won 50 to 49 or six to three. Um, nobody cared. Everybody supported each other and was one common goal and that was just a flat out win. We would come down the tunnel and you see the big wall with the with the years on the on the bricks of championships and playoff appearances. And we wanted to to be that team to just put something up there that, that hadn't been you know, placed up there before. So there's a lot of motivation in the Dome already, and we really wanted to provide something for the future teams to, to see like we do every day at practice that we saw ahead of us. It takes every facet to get to the national championship team. It takes depth because of the number of games that you play. You're gonna get injured, and you're still gonna have to go out there with the next man in and beat great football teams. It takes a, a, a defense, it takes a quality offense, it takes great special teams. And if you really look at this particular team, it had Johnny Gray was the punt returner, you had Brian Winger was our kicker. I mean, we had great special teams plays, and if you're gonna win close games and the number of uh, top 20 teams that we we're playing, you've gotta win special teams to win the close games, and really special teams won a lot of those tight football games for us. The playoffs were, were, were different, but like, not, anything out of the ordinary. That championship championship week was definitely out of the ordinary. There's so much other stuff going around, going on surrounding the game, whether it's media, pictures, obviously the travel to Chattanooga the day before, um, more media when you get to Chattanooga. Um, a lot of other things outside of what you're doing on the field goes on that week more than normal. <laughs>